we're starting in Fusion Apps and we're going to edit a page in Visual Builder Studio. If that's the first time that you're going to invoke it, you're going to be prompted to create a project. Um, I'm going to create a project even though I have some others because the others are just for demos. I'm now creating a specific project for this demo. In general, this would automatically be created for you the first time that you go and edit a page from Fusion Apps. Once it's created, we're going to go back into the project homepage. We can see our workspace here. We're going to go into the Git repository. Right now we have two branches. There's the branch that was created for the workspace and another branch, the main branch. We're going to create a new branch. We're going to call this one the release branch. Into the release branch, which is going to be based on the main branch for now, we're going to put only changes that we actually want to release. Okay, so we have two main branches. One is called main basically, the other one is called the release. Main is what we're putting into the test environment and release is what is going to go into the actual deployment. What we're going to do next is define branch protection rules for both of those uh, Git branches, specifically uh, requiring approval before any change gets into those branches. So we'll define two rules, one for each one of those branches, that is the same format of rule. And the other thing you might want to do is just set up your build to have the correct username and password for the deploy step, and this would basically be the setup for your project. Okay, so update the username and password here and save the changes. All right, so now we can close this window of Visual Builder Studio and go back into our application and do the edit page in Visual Builder, picking up the project that we have. Again, this is supposed to be just one project in your environment. And now we can make some changes. So for example, on this page, we might want to hide or show some things. For example, there's no edit button here, so we can enable this edit button by turning this one into two. Okay. This is one change that we can do here. We can also enable another edit icon in another location um, in this module. Again, just um, editing those properties over here in our Visual Builder Studio Express mode. So now that we have those two changes in place, we can publish them. So publish them would create a merge request that would aim to take those changes and put them into the main branch of code. As we can see the information about this at the top here, we are going to have a commit message that explains what we're doing. There's going to be someone who needs to review those and this would create the first merge request. Now let's suppose we want to work on another set of features. To do that, we're going to switch to a new branch. So we're going to create a new branch. Um, we're going to base it on off main and we're going to give it a name. So for example, if we need to implement some specific rules for the USA, we're going to create the US rules branch. We're going to add a new rule here. Call this the USA rules. We're going to design a condition here. Pick up United States as the country. So this would be our condition. And then, for example, one thing we can do is hide this whole section, so make it hidden by default. All right, so this is the second set of changes. And again, what we're going to do here 
is we're going to publish those changes creating another merge request, again targeting our main branch. So again give a good description of the changes that you did and click publish. You can see that we have six files that this change specifically touched. Right, so this is the next change and we're going to do one more set of changes, so again another feature, so we're again going to create a new branch and base it off the main branch and this one is specifically going to deal with another page completely, it's going to be for example the learning modules. So we're going to create a branch for the learning module. I switch to this branch, we can close this window, switch to a completely different page from this menu up here. For example, we can pick up this page here, open it in our Express Editor, and again do some modifications. For example, again we can show or hide specific items in our page. And again, once we are done with the changes, we can click the Publish, and this will create uh, the third merge request into our main branch. Right, we're going to switch to advanced mode to be able to switch back into Visual Builder Studio and into our project. And over here now you would see our three merge requests waiting for approval. Do the proper review of those and once you're happy with the results you can click and merge each one of them after approval into the main branch. So the result of this is that the main branch is going to have all three changes, which two of them are in the same page, the third one is in a different page, all of them are going to be applied into the main branch. Um, if you deploy it now into your test environment, for example, you'll be able to see and work with all of those changes and see how they behave. So now we are going to create a new workspace, which is a clone from Git, and this is going to be the workspace in, in which we are going to pick the specific feature we actually want to promote further. So this is going to be based on our release branch, which again, remember, it's based on the base structure of our project without any of the extensions applying to it right now. So we're creating another branch of release, okay, and creating a workspace that will allow us to work on this branch. And here we can use the cherry pick functionality to pick up specific changes and bring them into this branch. Now which changes you want to choose, um, what's the revision ID? That's something that you can get from the project itself. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to have this tab show me um, the project and I'm going to open the workspace in a separate tab. And then if I go into our Git repository and I'm going to look at the main branch and I'm going to look at the log and I'll do the diagram view. So this is text and you can also see it in diagram. And you can see here that we had three branches out of it and we merged each one of them in a separate process into the main. Now what I want to do is I want to take specific changes and bring them into the cherry pick workspace. So, so there's an ID here that I can click on, for example for this set of changes, and I can copy this number over here into my clipboard. You can see the two files that have changed and then I can go into my workspace and I can use the cherry pick feature. I'll paste the ID that I copied, do a search, you can see again the two files that change, you can actually expand it over here 
and see the specific changes and I'm gonna cherry pick those into my current branch. Okay, so those are these two changes. And this is in the personal details page, two changes that we did over there. If I navigate back, I can also pick up the changes I did for the learning module. So again, click on the commit over here. You'll get the files that have changed. Okay, you can see this is in a different file. Okay, we have three files here that have changed. I'm gonna copy this and again, go back into my environment, do again a cherry pick, do a search for the value I just copied. I can see the three files. Because I already did some changes, I'm gonna commit them as well before bringing in the other changes. So those are the personal page changes that I'm going to commit. And then I'm going to cherry pick the other three files that are dealing with learning into my workspace. And again, I can now commit those changes. Like that. So now my workspace has those changes. I'm going to do a push to push my changes into a shared Git repository called Cherry Picks. And this is going to be the project level. So if I go back into my project and into Git, you would now see this new branch over here, the Cherry Picks branch over here. And I want to take the changes that I did in Cherry Picks and bring them into the release branch. So to do that, I'm going to go and create a merge request in our Git repository, targeting the release branch, and I'm gonna bring into it whatever I did in Cherry Pick. So those are two changes, two sets of changes that are going to go into this branch. Again, we can have reviewers here, fill out any other information you need, including the description of what the changes are, click create, this will create a merge request. Whoever is responsible for this merge request can now approve, review, approve, merge the changes. And you can see all five files are in here, all the changes, except the ones that I didn't want to choose. So I just cherry pick the specific changes I wanted. I can approve them and then merge them into the release branch and then take the release branch and deploy it into a new environment.